Uh, so we're going to move over to investing. And uh, before we talk about investing, there's just like two things we want to make sure you know. Uh, the first is we talked about the power of compounding. Uh, so compounding is like the thing to know, right? Um, and compounding is basically saying that, so if you have like a herd of goods, and then the goods, then the goods give birth, compounding is when all the goods can now give birth, right? So your, the money you go into interest can now get interest. That's compounding. And while it sounds really small early on, that stuff adds up like crazy. <laughs> like, and, and the heart of wealth is that. It's how much do you put at the beginning, how much do you keep adding, how much does it keep growing? And once you know those things, life is good. If you don't know those things, they're not retired. But yes, yes. But, but the reason I said that is like, look, um, compounding is really, really important. And the reason compounding is important is when you have time. So compounding by itself is kind of useless. Compounding across one year doesn't matter, right? Compounding across 30 years, holy cow, right? It's, it's really, really big. And, and when I say that, that you're young, I'm saying that we all have enough runway in our earning careers to let things compound. So you don't need to like hit the jackpot tomorrow. The stuff you're trying to do is gonna happen in a couple of years. Your kids are probably gonna go to university in a couple of years, if, if you have kids. You know, you're probably gonna buy a house in a couple of years. The big stuff is gonna happen to you in a couple of years, so you have time. So because you know you have time, you don't need to hit the jackpot tomorrow. Even if you don't have time, you can't hit the jackpot tomorrow, just from a probability perspective. Um, so, 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 right? Uh, but more importantly, if you, if you have time, then don't, don't do big swings. Because when you take big swings and you lose, you lose a lot. And remember what we said earlier, right? Like always think about investing as I'm investing a portion of my life, right? You don't want to invest a lot of your life and then wipe it out because it's the more you do that, the harder it is to build, right? And like Lorraine said earlier, retiring wealthy or being wealthy in your later years is not a function of how smart you are. It's not. It's not a function of like, you know, knowing someone. It's literally a function of did you have time to compound and did you use the time to compound, right? So, and, and yes, there, you know, there are people who get really rich later in life somehow, and, and that, that's fine too. I'm just saying that if you are saying, on this side of my life, when I have 30 years to look ahead, what is a predictable way for me to achieve that goal that I want? A, balance, a portfolio that's grounded in stuff that's you know, relatively low in risk, that gives you a return that you can predict for the next 20 years, 30 years, is fantastic. And we are young, and there is not a big rush to achieve this goal. So just be patient with yourself. Right?